Gen X will never ever be able to fully retire. Let's dive into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Frank Talk, got a real interesting subject, so let's jump right into it. Guys, Gen X, my generation, they say will never ever be really fully able to retire or we will work way past retirement age because of one thing, debt. Guys, Gen X, we lead basically every statistical debt category. Gen Xers, my generation. Guys, Gen Xers were born between 1965 and 1980. So the youngest Gen Xers are about 43, 44, and the oldest are about 57, 58, 59. Guys, there isn't a debt that Gen X does not like. We have signed for everything. We don't mind taking our loans. So let me go over the debt categories that Gen Xers lead in. Gen Xers lead in average and in the most credit card debt. Gen Xers lead in credit card debt. Gen Xers lead in car loan debt. Gen Xers lead in personal loan debt. Gen Xers lead in total debt period. We also lead in the highest debt payments. The only debt that Gen Xers do not lead in is student loan debt that belongs to the baby, baby boomers and mortgage debt that belongs to the millennials. So guys, what can you do to avoid this fate if you are a Gen Xer? I'm going to tell you. Eliminate consumer debt. And if you have a mortgage, do not go into retirement with a mortgage. Make sure that mortgage is paid off. Guys, there are about 65 million Gen Xers right now in population in the United States. Right now, the of Gen Xers will not be able to fully retire at retirement age. And if they do retire, they would have to work a part-time job to make ends meet. Because of what? Debt. They say 20% of the Gen Xers right now, today in 2024, would not be able to fully retire. Right now, that's about 13 million Gen Xers. And they say that, and they say that number is going to steadily rise over the years as cost of living keeps going up and Gen Xers keep taking out debt. Guys, you don't want to have to work a part-time job in retirement. When you retire, you want to be done with working, period. But the number one thing that is robbing you from building wealth is your debt. Guys, I'm a Gen Xer. I started, I got out of debt years ago in like my middle 40s. I started building my wealth. And because I got out of debt, I am able to invest into assets that help me grow my wealth. Why am I able to do that? Because I eliminated debt in my life me and my ex-wife. So guys, I want to share some, something with you guys. So last night, while I, while I was thinking about this video, coming up with ideas about this video, taking notes about this video, I went on my social security statement. I wanted to see, I want, I want to share with you guys what I would make in social security right now when I retire. If I kept making my same salary to retirement age, where I would be at. And I want to share this with you guys. Cause I want, to, I want you guys to see if you can live off this in retirement. So right now my average, my average, um, a month yearly salary is about 125000 a year. So right now, if I retired at 62, started collecting Social Security at 62, my payment would be $2,136. If I collected at 63, it'd be $2,287. If I started collecting at 64, it'd be $2,450. If I started collecting at 65, it'd be $2,665. If I started collecting at 66, it'd be $2,881. And if I started collecting at 67, it'd be $3,100. Guys, let's just say I started collecting at 65 and I had debt. That'd be $2,600 a month, right? Let's just say I had a mortgage payment. Right now, my mortgage payment is $1,450. I live in the state of Indiana. It's not that bad. But of that $2,600, $1,400, let's just say I retired with my mortgage. $1,400 would go to my mortgage. Then I got another pretty much $1,200. What if I had a car payment? What if I had credit card debt? I gotta eat. I need medical insurance. I need to buy medication. I need to buy clothes. Guys, can you live off $2,600 a month while in debt? Retirement, because at that time I won't have a mortgage and I'm already out of consumer debt. But I also have a brokerage account that got significant money in it and I also have a 401k 
that has significant money in it and they're both are still growing. I'm only 52. So I can live out $2,600 because I have other resources. But can you live out $2,600 being in debt with no other resource. Because the number one wealth killer, guys, is consumer debt. If you go into retirement with debt, you are going to either keep working full time or have to keep working part time to supplement your income to be able to live a decent life. You gotta eliminate consumer debt, guys. Guys, like I said, if you're a Gen Xer and you're in your middle 40s, late 40s, early 50s, you have time to change this dynamic. You have time. But will it be hard? Yes, it will be hard. It was hard for me to get out of debt. It was hard for me to save. No, it wasn't hard for me to save. I've always been a saver. But it was hard getting out of debt. It was hard paying off those bills when I wanted to buy other things. But guys, you have to choose which heart you want. You want to stay in debt and be strangled hold by debt your entire life? That's hard. But do you want the hard road to get out of debt so you have an easy road later and then you can build wealth or build some type of financial freedom? Because going into retirement, guys, being in debt is going to be painful. You are going to have financial pain because the cost of living is only going to keep rising. So guys, you have to choose which heart you want. But guys, the reason I am able to invest like crazy is because I got out of consumer debt. If you're in your late 50s now, it's going to be hard, guys. I'm just going to be honest with you. It's going to be hard. It might be impossible. But if you're in your early 40s, middle 40s, late 40s, early 50s, you have time. But you need to start making these sacrifices today and get yourselves out of consumer debt. If you stay in consumer debt, it's going to keep eroding your income, and you will be in debt the rest of your life. Guys, Proverbs 22.7, the borrower is slave to the lender, and that is absolutely facts. So guys, thank you for tuning into my video today. Why Gen Xers will never be able to fully retire. Please like the video, share the video, and most importantly, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, Frank Talks Money. Remember guys, financial decisions you make today will impact your financial life tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. Frank Talks Money, I'm out.